times that's five for you I do that three, four times again I test the five for you I told I like you, that bitch I do it Oh, I won't cry, we get it I'm not Long as you joking, now it's to me I ain't got it My bitch skin, do it I show body As long as you dreaming about me Ain't no problem I don't got nobody just with you right now But the truth, I look better under you Hey everyone, hold on one second. There you guys are. Hey, <laughs> hey, hello, welcome in. Hey, widow, Susan Hakuna. Hey, Haven. It's great to see you guys. Thanks for coming in. Oh, hey, KK. There's Carrie. <laughs> hey guys, thanks for coming out. I really appreciate it. Give me one second. One, one second. Okay, okay sorry about that. Oh, cool, Georgia. That sounds cool. So thanks for coming out, guys. <laughs> I wasn't even, I actually was going to reschedule it again because I was feeling so nauseous, but I'm okay now. Everything's fine. It's just, it feels like every time I want to eat something, uh, it's just, <laughs> it does not want to stay. Not at all. So. I think I'm going to have to do like some smoothies or um, something, something that's more tolerable for my stomach. Oh, thank you, Carrie. This is my wish list here. If anybody wants to check it out, you don't have to. It's just something I put together because, you know, people were asking. Um, there was something else I wanted to show you guys. Okay, so um, this is for Widow's Daughter. This is the new link um, here. So if you guys would like to donate so that she can get her service dog, her autism service dog, 
Uh, this is the link right up here. It's kind of up the chat more. So, hey, JVT, it's good to see you. Yeah, the vapes. I can't do the vape. <laughs> Every time I try to do the vape, I, something goes wrong. <laughs> Oh, the patch. Oh. Oh, it kind of helps me. I Yeah, that's what I took, Georgia. I took a gummy, and it definitely helps me um, to feel more calm and, like, less, uh, less nauseous and shaky after I eat. But um, I didn't take it earlier because I didn't want to take it before the live i wanted to um just try to see what was going to happen but it didn't happen so <laughs> so yeah i took the gummy so hopefully i'll get a little hungry later and you know i'll be able to eat something normal hopefully hey cornbread thanks for showing thanks for coming Yeah. So <laughs> I wanted to do this live because I'm just so tired of people just talking crap and and mostly behind my back. You know, like I have said in my previous lives, I if you if you have a problem with me, you can always come to me. You can always talk to me. I just want somebody, whoever has a problem with me, to say it to my face, not behind my back, and definitely not to my close friends, because obviously they're going to come to me. Um, it's upsetting to them. Hey, Mo. It's good to see you. It's upsetting to them. It's upsetting to me, especially with the situation I have going on, you know. Uh, hey, Heather. And, you know, to say things in private that, you know, you don't, if you don't like me, you don't like me, whatever. Just, I mean, why you got to tell people? <laughs> they don't care if you like me or don't like me. But it's the things that are being said that are really upsetting to me because some of these people are the same people that have told me that I can come to them if I have any issues or if I need any advice. Um, they have basically, you know, given me a friendship and made me think that I could trust them, made me think that I can talk to them if I needed to, or I, you know, they would, I could have their shoulder to cry on if needed. So for them to turn around and then just be like, hey, you know, this girl's a bitch. I don't like her. Um, I wish she would die. Um, you know, stuff like that. It's just, it's really hurtful. It really is. I mean, there is absolutely <laughs> nothing to be jealous about. You know what I mean? Yeah, um, I could talk to you about that. There's a certain kind that I use. Everybody's different, so. But um, there's a certain kind that I take, and it works better than any other, any other ones. Hey, Dre. Hey, Metal Clips. Yeah. I don't think that's the case here. I think it was more of... They just, you know, they don't like me for some reason. And I mean, I consider myself a likable person. You know, I'm very sweet to everybody. I'm very nice, very respectful. And I'm also the type of person that, you know, my friends come to me and they tell me things and I keep that with myself. You know, I keep it to myself. I'm not going to go blab around all, all over the place, you know, but, you know, I, I consider myself a good friend, trustworthy, loyal 
to a fault, you know, and for people to be doing that, it's just, it's crazy. It is fucked up, Heather. It really is. Because I would never, ever tell, you know, tell somebody I wish this person would die or I wish she wasn't around anymore or, you know, whatever. Oh, it's okay. You know, it, it just hurts a little because of the people that it is, you know, and hey, Sharon. (laughs) No cornbread. Oh, well, I'm sure she has some words for me too, but she'd probably say them to my face or on a live. And for that, that could be a good quality, right? Remember we were talking about... (laughs) Looking for good qualities in people. Hey, precious. It's good to see you guys. Oh, thanks, Heather. And I, I mean, not that I try to be. It's just, there's so much hate and stuff in this world. It's, it's better to just be positive to people. Like, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do anything like that, you know? It's, it's crazy. But for people to have such a, like, deep-seated hate for me just makes me feel like, what the hell is going on in this world? <laughs> um, yeah, pretty sure. But, um, pretty sure. Yeah, Georgia. Oh. And I know I... I'm dumbfounded. I don't get it. So I wanted to have this live and invite these people up. If they want to say something to me, they could say it. Um, They don't only have to come here. You know, I just want to get it out in the open that, you know, what's going on and stuff like that. But um, no, they can email me if they want to, whatever. But I'm not looking for an apology. I just... I want to understand what the hell is going on. Like, why do you guys, like, hate me so much? It, you know, when, whenever you start a conversation with somebody, you start off with my name in your mouth. I mean, I shouldn't be living rent-free in anyone's head, for real. Like, I don't even consider consider myself to be the type of person to be jealous of at all i mean i have cancer and anything can happen with my treatment or my medications or whatever i mean there's times where i spend a couple days in bed because i just i couldn't deal and it also affects my mental health and you know why be jealous (laughs) Why be jealous of that? Right. Right, Mom. I, yeah, it's very immature. And the people, you know, that are doing that are pretty immature. I mean, a couple, I thought, were more mature, uh, wonderful, (laughs) wonderful ladies. But I was wrong. Hey, Earth. All right, KK. Tell it. Tell them. <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately, that's the truth. That's facts, Jeep girl. Hey, Iris. I was looking for you. It was good to be in your one of your lives again today. I I listened in for a little bit, and then, you know, I mistakenly ate dinner, <laughs> thinking that that was going to be cool, but it wasn't. Hey, Colin. Good to see you. So, yeah, I pinned that link. So if you want to have a conversation with me, I'm right here. 
And that doesn't just go for um, these few people that are, you know, doing what they're doing. It also goes for anybody else on YouTube. I mean, I've been called a bully. I've been called uh, fake, <laughs> uh, scammer in one case. So if you have something to say to me, you want to talk it out, we can talk it out. That way you can keep my name out of your mouth. I mean, one less thing to think about, right? Because who wants to think of me all day? I don't even want to think of me all day. <laughs> Like, for real. Uh, yeah, I know. It is. And for, like, the past couple of days, actually the past few days, it's just I've been so stressed out because I'm also having another um, dilemma here at home. So it's, you know, it's stressing me out. And I've been so stressed out. I've been drained i've been tired i've been nauseous dehydrated so hey tracy so it's just you know i want to get this drama out of the way because i'm just i'm tired of hearing it on uh panels i'm tired i'm tired of hearing it from my friends or pe some people you know i don't even know um I mean, I really don't know any of you guys, but I some of you guys I talk to a lot and I feel like we're friends. So, um, but yeah, I'm just I'm tired of hearing about it. And I just want to invite anybody up here who has a problem with me to please come up here and say what the problem is and fix it, because I just I don't want to hear my name anymore. <laughs> Simple as that, <laughs> you know. Uh, I'm tired of it. I'm also tired of all these rumors about me. And, you know, one of them is concerning my friend Matt. And, you know, me and Matt, we're friends. We talk and stuff like that. But, you know, and I'm one of his mods. But, I mean, to be jealous of, you know, a friendship it's it's ridiculous to me it's really crazy oh thank you tracy hey grits i mean there's there's nothing going on trust me <laughs> you can trust me there thanks hey Hakuna. sorry i'm reading uh someone else right now Yeah, uh, I consider myself like a really cool person. <laughs> People say, you know, when we hang out or whatever, it's just like I'm a down to earth type of person. I don't like to bring drama to anything. I don't like to get in the way of everything or anything. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's not he's not feeling too good right now, so. If you guys, you know, can give him your thoughts and prayers. He's just really under the weather right now. Yeah, he is a punk. He is. <laughs> Hopefully he doesn't come in here and see that. <laughs> we shouldn't have highlighted. <laughs> hey, Kathy. It's good to see you. Aw, thank you. I appreciate that. Oh. Yeah, I got an issue with you. Oh, you do? Yeah. I do. Why are you so what sweet and full of spice? <laughs> <laughs> you are too. You're full of spice too. Oh, can you um can you turn your mic up a little? It's kind of hard to hear. Thanks, Earth. I'm serious, too. Like, if anybody wants to come up here, I'm all ears. I just, you know, tell me about myself. I don't care. <laughs> so what's been going on? Who, who's running their mouth now? Sarah. Um, I actually contemplated on saying names, and I'm going to leave that out of this life. 
and see what happens. Because, you know, it's, if it continues, and that that's not even, like, the few people that I'm talking about. I'm talking about everybody. Like, if I keep hearing my name come out of people's mouths, I just, you know, I'm going to say something more. And then I'll say names and I'll point people out. It's just, hey, Texas. Um, it's just annoying at this point because I'm literally doing nothing. I'm having my lives. I'm saying, you know, I'm speaking my mind. Um, not lying about anything. I'm not grifting anything. I'm not trying to hurt anybody. So I don't see what the problem is. Because if you look on YouTube, there are people hurting people. There's people fighting and scamming each other and doing all these different things and nobody's mad at them <laughs> nobody's jealous of them you know so uh, i just i don't want people to feel that way well and um and our old sector with me and um bro was that and shit they don't got that they, they drop people off the panel for 50 dollars, like a 50 dollar drop like <laughs> what the fuck? that's crazy yeah, there's there's a lot of crazy things that go on in other sectors. Sorry, my uh, throat is dry. Uh, I'm gonna have to get a drink in a second. Oh, thank you, Kathy. I appreciate that. Welcome to memberships. I'm actually probably this weekend. I'm gonna do a members only live, and we're gonna talk about a a few things going on in the community. And uh, hold on, let me get a drink. How was everybody's evening? Was everybody had a good day today? Okay, sorry. <laughs> oh, between like allergies and medication and stuff like that, like I cannot. With my throat, it's so dry. <clears throat> hey, widow. Um, what I was saying is, I want to do a members only. I'm gonna try to. Do, sorry, I'm gonna try to do it this weekend. Can somebody and, sell me a members only? I need. I need some member. I need a membership. I think you are a member. I think you got one last time. Pretty sure you're a member. No, when I type in your chat, I just see gray. So that's a normal thing. Well, buy a membership. I don't even know how much it is. <laughs> I hope it's not too much. Oh, your day just started. Mm. Yeah, Jima, we had that the other day. We had, um, it was pouring. It was crazy. Oh, um, I want to throw this out here real quick. Um, I don't know if y'all heard. Um, like at like one thirty this morning, a ship that hit a um a bridge up in Baltimore, and the bridge had collapsed. Yeah, six people had fell in the um. I forgot the name of that bay is up there. I don't know, but I heard about I that. Know, I hope they be found alive. Yeah, I heard about it. And, um, I just take that breeze all the time. Go up to New York. Yeah, I think it was in Maryland, right? Yeah. yeah. Um, let's see. I do want to tell you about oh. yourself. Aw. <laughs> Thank you, Jane. Is there an echo? Do you guys hear an echo? That's that stupid ass dog next door barking. Oh, you got a dog barking? <laughs> Next door. Mine's in the basement. Uh -huh. Yeah, there's stuff. Oh, here it is. The Francis Scott Key Bridge. Yeah, Baltimore. So how was your day, Bubbles? Uh, it was crazy. <laughs> it was crazy. The day. Yeah, for a little bit. Let's see how he's doing. He's not feeling well. So. so hopefully he's not watching this and he's sleeping. Because <laughs> I know that. I know, you know he's sleeping. 
is. It's crazy. Hopefully it's not, um, you know, like COVID or something like that. Hopefully it's just a, a small virus. Yeah, I didn't think so. Oh, I think he I think he said that uh, there was a dog barking, KK. You can come up to KK if you want. I'm just waiting on haters. <laughs> if he's sick, I'm going to make him do that live last night. What happened? If he's sick, I'm going to make him do that live last night. What live? Live he ate last night. Oh, why did he do that live? Is that what you said? Yeah, if it's he's hard sick. to hear you. Is your volume up? Yeah, this goddamn phone is a piece of shit. Oh, now you sound like a little clearer and stuff. I think if you hold it like closer to your mouth, I think I can hear you better. So, uh, anybody know what Beetlejuice was doing this week? She's talking about, oh, I'm sick. I got it. I can't do Monkey Monday. You never was doing that shit in the first place. So stop the cap with that bullshit, all right? And let real, let these real content creators talk about that. He's same shit. Um, I don't know. I haven't been watching her. Oh, I'm sick. Uh, her goddamn basement dweller supposed to did that shit. Well, is she sick? Yeah, she she put that shit on her own community wall. Like we give a shit. Well, if she's sick, she's sick. She's probably just telling her friends. Like, hey, Jay Marie, Jay Marie, Jay Marie, Jay Marie, Jay Bubbles, Bubbles, Bubbles. You know, oh, damn, well, that's a lie. That is a lie. It's you know, she got to participate in one eight hundred sucker dick marathon. What um, she was doing? She talking about? Oh, I'm sick. I'm sick. Cornbread. Oh my god. <laughs> Hold Should on. Tell lies on her community post. Stop lying. Stop the cap. It's good to see you. Thanks for coming in. I did I email you back? I think I did. Y'all need to take that shit from that goddamn whole ass, goddamn burnt toast oh. looking motherfucker over there. Cornbread. I need to take your monkey Mondays back from these corn balls. Okay. I don't want to talk about that though, about monkey Mondays, because I don't cover kids' cases anymore. I just, I don't want to talk about any of that on here. Yeah. I don't, um, hey, I don't know what's going on because I haven't been watching. I'll watch it either. Okay. I did unless email you. Okay. I don't watch it. I don't watch it either. Unless I'm going over there to take over. You're welcome. I hope everything's going good with you guys. Everything's getting better. I've been praying for you guys. Sorry about that. But I don't know. I haven't. <laughs> I haven't been paying attention, so I don't. I didn't know she was sick. Oh, you didn't see that community post you put out yesterday? No, I don't pay attention. I told you I'm a one and done. I'm one and done. I said what I had to say to her. She didn't respond back to me, so I'm done. I don't look. I, I don't you, watch. I, I she wasn't going to um, come hit the link because she's so petrified. Oh, I'm scared. <laughs> oh. Y'all go talk about when you doing that shit, goddamn you. We was on bro shit, goddamn trying to do that fake ass interview. All you doing looking in the chat, find out who was talking about you, so you can take that back on your channel. <laughs> you know I ain't peep you out, pigeon. I told you I peep your ass out from day one. I was just buying my time. Of course, I'm gonna. I'll keep in touch with you, and you can keep in touch with me. Email me anytime. Yeah. Hello. How are Oops. you in storm today? Hey, how are you? Oh, not feeling too hot, but I came up to give my support and, you know. Um, What's going on? What's going on? Um, oh, I'm not sure, honey. I'm not sure yet. No. Um, but I'm not here for that. I am, you know, um, can Thank I make you. this like a positive? Um, sure. How do I want to say uh, thing? 
um, I, I play kind of like a game on mine, starting with the alphabet. You go and try to find all the positive words you can. Um, mm -hmm. And it turns the like the chat and you in a happier mood. Um, that's <laughs> if you all would like to do that. That that way it'll make you feel better too. You know what I mean? I mean, I'm not right. saying it will, but. And I mean, I don't mean for this to be like a drama live. Like I said before, no. I just want mm -hmm. the whoever the people are that have a problem with me to come up here and say it so I don't have to hear about it anymore. I just yeah. don't. That's the, the main thing. I don't want to hear about it anymore. I don't want to see it in chats. I don't want any of that stuff because the thing is I'm dealing with other things. And I don't want to keep coming on to YouTube and having lives calling people out for things. And I, I just, I don't want that. The only people I surround myself with are positive people. You know what I mean? And, or people, you know, that I, I really care about and I trust. So I don't care what these other people are saying and stuff like that. I just, I don't want them saying it. I don't, you know, I want to, I want to know why they're saying it, but at the same time, it's like, just stop, just stop because I'm, I'm over it. I have too many things going on too many. And I do, you know, I do appreciate the people who tell me these things and what's going on and so they can protect me from these people so that I don't talk to them anymore. I don't hang around them anymore. Um, you know, that's why I'm initially told and I do appreciate that. You know, I do appreciate that part of it. And sometimes, you know, maybe I shouldn't hear it. Maybe I should just hear, hey, this one's talking about you. I'm, I'm not going to tell you what they're going to say or whatever. But it, yeah, I just, I don't know. I wanted to stop because I'm over it. <laughs> I just, I don't know why people have a problem with me. I don't bother anybody. I'm not trying to fight with anybody. I don't want anything. I don't want, like, and for some of these people, I don't want your man either. <laughs> like, for real, I do not want anybody's husband, boyfriend, imaginary boyfriend, whatever. I don't want it. I have enough going on and I'm just, I'm going to say it loud and clear right now. I have enough going on right now. I know you oh, want my good. friendship. I do know I do. that. I do. And I have your friendship and I love it. Yes. Thank you. I love when you're up here because you're just, I, I don't know. You're I like so to funny. be positive. Yes, you have a positive, funny, creative energy about you. So I like that. Uh, well, wait, say, uh, yeah, you could, um, like, I said, like I was telling you before, you know, you can ignore that. Like I said, that's the best mm -hmm. remedy for everything. Yeah, um, you know, talking is going. The talking is is like it's not that you can do about it. it it's going. It, people is going to continually, continually to talk negative about you. You know, it's up to you to get that either respond to it or just completely mm -hmm. ignore it. I. But me on the other hand, let me find out whoever's saying some shit about you. You know, I got to uh, put my own goddamn three cents in. Like, shut the fuck up. Mind your business. This don't concern you. Are you goddamn? Uh, and like I said, Jay Marie, I understand what that uh, was going I, on with you because, you know, I had an ex old lady who had the C word too. Mm -hmm. and, and how stressful and all that she was uh, at first, and her oh. hair was starting to thin and all that. Like, I could like close to like see her scalp, and that shit scared the fuck out of me. It's like, you know, the more she was going, do her chemo, her radiation, and all that. The mm -hmm. better she was getting, and like her hair started growing back. And that, like, I'm like, what the fuck? I'm like, are you sure you have that? Right. But I know she did because it was a girl that used to live downstairs from us. 
Mm-hmm. Um, and she was like a she's like a little sister to me, you know, because I know her her her, um, her baby daddy, you know, he me and him were re, uh, real tight, and you know she used to come up and um hang out with us and shit like that. So like you know a couple of times, you know my old lady will um go to an appointment, go to you know for a chemo and shit like that. But when mm-hmm. she returned, when she get back home, she's a different person. I'm yeah. snappy, moody. Like mm-hmm. I, I'm used. To, you know, I could I could deal I could deal with her cussing me out and everything because you know I I've been with her for so long, so I'm used to that. But I ain't want her to take her frustration and her aggression out on the on the girl because I know how I know how her mind of thinking is. Oh, you trying to um get my um man? I know how my ex old lady is, so I just had to um like. It's a it's a vein in that like you know ain't no shit going you know I want to do anything like that to you so why would you even think that so don't even think nothing like that thinking about get better that's my concern with you yeah Jay, Jay Marie may I I I don't know if this will come out correctly but you know what say thank you to all those who have the idea of they want to say negative things to you thank you for ha- expressing your view. But, um, like, I think you need to, like, find new uh, new content. Um, if, right. you, if you got to go that low to say things to someone that is in your situation, um, you know, I'm not using your disease as, as um, right. it's a, just a, a pop out. I'm saying yeah. if, if you got to be that low. Thank mm-hmm. you for showing me that there is a higher bar of kindness out there. You know, right. um, I'm, I'm sorry. You know, I'm in this religious part right now. So, um, mm-hmm. but, but n- n- no one should be doing this to you. No <laughs> one should be doing it to anyone. To anyone. You know, right. Anyone. Period. Yep. And and that's hold on one second. Hey Nikita, I sweet oh I missed you. Thank you for coming in. She's sweet. I haven't seen her in a while. I haven't been on all day. I just uh, was building a puzzle on my iPad, and um, I seen you go live. And I says, I'm going to go support you. You know. The real cornbread. How are you doing today? I'm doing okay. Oh. Got for work. Uh, I had to take care of a little couple of, I had to take care of something that was okay. kind of like important mm-hmm. to me. So got that Good. out of the way. I'm kind of okay for it. I'm bad. I had a Good. I'm glad to hear That's true, Akko. It does. It does show that they are. I just, you know, I I don't know. I figured I'd give them a chance to just come up here, say what they have to say, end it, so we don't have to hear it anymore, you know? Jay Marie, um, like I told you, the only way that buzzers was going to come over here is she could just find some kind of way to a home bomb. Well, not her, just- like, she doesn't have to come over here. I already said what I had to say to her, you know, and she responded, which is more than what I'm getting from these people. So, well, if you I gotta talk, I'm sorry. Oh, go ahead. I was gonna say, if you gotta talk about someone and you're not willing to go and talk to them on lives, but you're putting it in other people's lives or chats and whatever you're mm-hmm. doing. If you're not big enough to do it in front of someone's face, let me tell you, <coughs> you're lower than, I don't know, a bad word. So, mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I, I, you know I'm trying not to swear. And, oh, and no. I, <laughs> I know. You're good. Thank you, Susan. I appreciate that. I don't deal with people like that. I, I refuse to acknowledge to. them anymore. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I used to do a lot ignoring people to, where uh where 
Well, I'm capping on that. Um, <laughs> yeah, when people used to say something about me, I like respond right away. And I'm gonna say like over a year, almost like two years ago. Um, you no, know, it took like some um, couple of heads, couple of heads, like you know, just uh, like just tell me like. You really don't even have to respond, uh, Corbray. All you gotta do is sit back and observe. That's all you gotta mm. do. Sit, wow. That's why I've been doing sitting back and observe and all this fuck shit that people been saying about me and all that. Mm. I can respond back, you know what I mean? But why the hell why then I had to ask myself again, why would I fuck why why in the hell would I give someone like that content? Right. Here I am. I mean, they ain't. Goddamn, That's bringing me no motherfuckers. They bring yeah. me no kind of revenue whatsoever. Right. I, I got to get out and get out, you know what I'm saying, and bust my ass, goddamn, on my two feet. You know, right. I mean, like I, said, I don't beg no one on, on this app for anything. Unless they willing to contribute, you know, I, mm -hmm. it'd be from the, from the bottom of my heart, I'd be appreciative a lot. But I don't be on this motherfucker begging for nothing. Right. Well, cornbread. I'm as as a nice person at sometimes I am. Um, when I get my check, I will make you a member here. I will buy your membership. That's nice, KK. Thank you very much. Yeah, Appreciate that's. That. I thought he was a member. No, no he's not. Those guys like your chat say, Marie, is this great? But it's all good, you know. You know, you yeah. know I told you, you, you only got to make me a mob over here. Because, like I say, the Mars sticks is like that fitno, and I don't know. I, I, and I'm, you know, what I'm saying sorry to bring that up, but that's what it's like to me. Yeah, <coughs> yeah. Okay. I don't with, just like, get like with, I, uh, I just... like with bro. You know, what I'm saying um, he was making me a mod day. He uh, a mommy doing it like it was like a back and forth. That I just told him, I'm like, bro, you no, know, you really, I like. I like this. This leave me as is, you know, because you, you know, I don't really don't sweat the moss like that. Yeah. I no, mean, over I here, I, I, only I, have, I have like close friends as my moths because of like people I've talked to and, you know, I talk to on a daily basis. Like that's who I have for my moths because I don't just, you know, give them to anybody. Oh, you better give me one, a girl. I, I don't know why I need one, but I'm just going to say that. I just want to be a monk because I like the color of blue. I like the color of blue. No, I'm only joking. I am only joking. I know. I know. I just like to make uh, people laugh and have a good time. And, you know, we got our downs. Yes, we need to discuss them. But also bring some humor and laughter and uh, kindness mm -hmm. to each other. You know, uh, be thankful we have people on here to talk to. Um, I'm oh. her favorite. <laughs> yeah, Magpie, I think you are a lot of people's favorites. Yeah, she is. But Carrie's yeah. going to kill me now. And she, <laughs> see, this yeah. is what they do to me. They pit me against each other. <laughs> Well, th yeah, they're True. like uh, very like possessive. Just watch yeah. out, that magpie. Yeah, she's very possessive, you know? <laughs> See? Yeah. Where is it? See? Carrie came in. And now I'm like in an awkward position. <laughs> no, I'm your favorite. So forget it. No, I'm older. I'm sorry. I'm <laughs> older. I'm her favorite. Because I'm old. I'm 62, going to be 63. I'm her favorite. So forget <laughs> it, Carrie and Magpie. I'm her favorite now. <laughs> She's my favorite panel guest. Oh, no, I forgot your theme song. I forgot to download your theme song. So next time I go live, you're going to hear it. Let me okay. write it down. <laughs> You have a theme song here. I do. I do that to some people. Yeah. Well, that one's no. again. Oh, it's probably me going, bitchy, bitchy, bitch. Where are you? <laughs> now it's it's cool. You'll like it. 
But yeah, corn, really cornbread has one. Did you see cornbreads? No, I have not. Okay, hold on. I'll, I'll show you. Hold on. This is his uh, cornbreads theme song. I played that. Sorry, <laughs> played it for too long, but because it takes so, I gotta cut it because it takes yeah. too long to get to that one part. But that's his theme song. I have one for you. I just forgot to put it in here. Oh yeah, I I appreciate it very much. I thank you for even including me. I am blessed to have. People who want to be here and be with each other and support each other, you know? That, that's the whole thing. That's what it's all about. That's what yeah. happens when you go on panel. You get a positive interaction with me. Yeah. No hate. No hate. Uh, yeah. Now you're Rocco's favorite, too. <laughs> <laughs> Carry in. Yeah. Why, why did you love tap that man? You should have slapped him to the ground. I know you say he's your personal servant all of a sudden. Who? More lives. Oh. I didn't even see what she was talking about. Carrie, you're my favorite. I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, I was just saying hi to vestiges. Okay. Carrie, you're my favorite because you got the Stiller uh, logo there. So you're my favorite. Magpie, you're not my favorite no more. She got to steal her logo. So there you go. Did Carrie time someone out? I actually timed out Magpie out for 10 seconds. Sorry, Jamer. Okay, that was not an accident. <laughs> you need to stop it right now. Carrie. <laughs> I can't. I can't with Carrie. Didn't one of you guys have Girl Scouts or something? <laughs> or no. church or something? Go to church. <laughs> what are you guys doing here? I secretly made it earlier so because I knew they were going to be at church or something. So... <laughs> It was not an accident. It wasn't. You guys were fighting me for so. Now, if that was if that was buzzer, you um timed out mad pad, I salute you. Oh, and <laughs> oh my god, I can't even cuss out Gary. Oh yeah, oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah um... Uh, yeah, um, that that person she owed me also um more money because I got her in that on uh, direct TV commercial as well, even though direct TV uh it's a piece of shit goddamn satellite uh company. And stop fighting over me. <sighs> you ain't a bitch, bitch. <laughs> a bitch, bitch. A bitch, bitch. <laughs> Oh, being a B. God, I can't even say that. Oh my God. Oh, you're cool. Thanks. Thanks for hanging out. <laughs> yeah, she's she is. Pray for me as well, because I'm I'm just a comedian. You do that, Carrie. I just don't, I just can't, I just despise that buzzer and her co defendants. Yeah. And Linda Marie, ooh, 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 wait till I get myself <laughs> situated. You got to come in. Yes, you got to uh, come in. Um, cornbread? Yes. 
you do that and you do it for me too and i will be so much your fan <laughs> I, I found out thank to you poo thank you poo thank you yes. that's why she, she's my favorite goddamn creator yep i'll write that down best it is hold on oh you guys can talk i'm just writing something down she came in my chat that summer and just ran her racist mouth. Oh, ooh, ooh, don't like I those just, kind of people. I just, I just, all I wanted, all I needed from that was to see how she, what she looked like. Oh, and I, I got, thank you, Pooh, for that. Yes. All right, that's the just I got it. Yes, Pooh. Oh, thank you, Nikita. I thank you for the uh, super chat, Nikita. Bless you too. I got you, Jay. I get so uh, I get myself together. Not stop I, it! You don't have to uh, give me anything. No, you bubbles. You my girl. You know, you always let me up on here. You let me talk my shit. Yeah, you need to so be got, careful, I, though, because I care. I do care. I you do. need to do. Why have you gone live? No, nah, I haven't been live since. We'll go live so we can come up, up and pick on you too. Right? <laughs> I'll go on your panel. I'll go on your panel. Love you, Nikita. Thank you. You're so sweet. Uh, well, if you allow me to be I'm out right, there. I'm, 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 I'm going to do one tomorrow. You know what? I'm, I'm surprised, bro. Because he wanted me to go live so bad. I might yeah. Be. Up doing it tomorrow, right? Too busy. Yeah, me and Lenny will be there. <laughs> Lenny loves you. She thinks you're so I funny. Got, I gotta look at her clips. Oh, uh, she said she got she got to be <laughs> goddamn this cool. Yeah, right. she like clipped her favorite <laughs> part. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> so, how many gummies you took, Jay Marie? Only one. Huh? How many gummies you took? Only one. No, I take like a little bite, <laughs> a little little bite, because um, okay, uh, they're they affect me, huh? <laughs> cool, we're in no panel. I had no... Well, though, you kicked me off your panel last. Like, you kicked me out of your chat last time you was live because I was going in on that desperate ass house pigeon. You kicked me off the panel. Everything that was bad. Well. Yeah. Very vestiges. Let me let me rant let me rant and rave about that buzzer. No, she, her throat. Mine. She's talking about um her throat hurts. Yeah, she has a so, uh, strap, I think. Yeah, I hope you uh, if anybody out there or you know, <laughs> let's help Widow get this uh get her uh. Her daughter's dog. Her service, yeah. Her daughter's service dog. Yeah. Because this Hold is on, really yeah. um, You did what over last year, like near the end of last year. You kicked me off the panel. You didn't let me get a chance to rant and rave about that buzzer and her co-defendants. Oh, I can't do it from up here. Crap. Well, Cornbread, uh-huh. you can come to my uh, Kathy's Corner 69, and you can say anything you want on there. I just can't have you on my Music 55 KK, because that's my clean channel. Widow, can you send the link uh, to Magpie or Carrie so they can share it? Because I can't <laughs> share it from up here. It's because I'm on the, the phone. No, See? I just got out of the hospital, widow. You went live. Mo, Mo said not Chocomo. exactly, not exactly that day you got out the hospital, but I think I don't know, like a week or two later. What are you talking about? See, we're not gonna have that, Cornbread. Uh, uh-uh. uh, we're not gonna have that. Oh, let me worry, worry about this buzzer. Oh, she, she needs to get this work. 
Okay, and have a good night. I'll talk to you soon. Thank you. Okay. Make sure it's, well, you have it. It's the new link. Oh. No, you're See, not. Amy, she's going to get caught up in that piss and Rico. She keep going in them damn chats over there. Somebody tell her to leave that damn buzzer alone. <laughs> I just told her like five, eight times. Leave that buzzer alone. She's not good for you. Who'd you tell? Amy, I told Amy that. Oh. I don't. I didn't know Amy hung out over there. I thought she like left there. I don't know. It doesn't matter, but I thought I didn't think she So what Jenna was not I know you want to know there, uh J Marie, but anybody in the chat, y'all was in Jenna's chat uh day for yesterday. What the hell she was talking about? Um I don't know. <laughs> Something about going to Texas, but I don't know what she's going to Texas. I don't know if she's going to live or she's supposed to take a plane ride is all I know. Yes, we are. Yeah, you can send it. Okay, so this is a widow's daughter's link for the, the autism service dog. Um, so this is a new link because the other link expired. So this is the new link for the same account. And if you want to donate, um, you just hit that link right there. Hey, six. Hey, six up. Hi, six up. Why that buzzer last say she, oh, uh, I want, I'm sick. I'm sick. No, damn where she talked to no damn stoke to tell that they caught her ass. They caught your ass buzzed for bringing the Fort Knox in the breadcrumb. They got you finally. What? Now I just need to see on my TV screen how much time you're going to get. I heard Fort Knox and breadcrumbs. <laughs> That's all you heard. <laughs> yeah, I just want to see across my TV screen how much time she's going to get. Oh, you don't know how? Yeah, five to ten years. Uh, that's what I'm expecting. I'm expecting that. That's five to ten years. Oh, why ain't the gold bricks is right there? If you gonna got there be a a, a, a busted criminal, why ain't this go for the bricks? You went straight for the breadcrumbs, you dummy. You are a dummy, crash bot dummy. You're welcome, Wendell. Yeah, she is almost there. Couldn't even come over here and be woman enough to have a conversation. It's okay, cornbread. I'm not like but her or anything about that. Yeah, ain't but her either because that gives me goddamn more time. To, that gives me goddamn extra time to go at her. Right. It's not a big deal. So I despise her. I despise her. She's a racist. I know she is. She trying to hide hide that on bros panel. That shit didn't work. Um, would Willow, would you um drop your link so I can go and I can make sure I have it. Um, people, I'm putting it on my community page. I have a lot of people who. Um, oh, the link for the um for the. But no, I want her. I want her page. So oh, I can put that in with the link so okay. they can go and check it out themselves. Okay. Um, so if one of the mods can drop Widow's channel link. So um uh KK can grab it. Do anyone yeah, y'all up here, do any of y'all up here or anyone in the chat know is um uh, the half a shell turtle hide is that? I'm saying, is that her side chick? Or I mean, what the fuck is going on with that? Like every time I'm trying to go in on this buzzer, she always right there. 
Cornbread, I don't even know what you're talking about. I'm, look, um, why do that buzzer have her side chick on the panel with her or every goddamn time she does a lot? I don't know. Sometimes <laughs> people have co-hosts. They ain't no or goddamn like, co-hosts. Some co-hosts where? Are they sharing a channel? I don't know. I thought both of them, I thought uh, I thought that skunk had her own channel. Oh, I don't I don't know who you're talking about. Buzzer side chick Heidi. Who's Buzzer? Oh, what's <laughs> like what are you talking? I don't I honestly I don't know. Because I don't know them. So I don't know what the situation is. When I don't I, know if they I, share the channel, if she's just her guest up there a lot, like they're friends, maybe. That's a sad shit. Okay, nobody tell me done. Now, when I went oh. up there to got there, gay right as the smoke and shit, her ass was right there. Why the fuck are you talking? Mute to mic. Oh, shit. And it's been up there like the whole time. But I'm talking to Cornbread. So, like, when I talk to him, I have to, like, look at his picture. <laughs> Oh yeah, see that that's the raven. That's me. Goddamn destroyed that pigeon, broke down her coop, turned that into a raven's den. Just peeking. Don't encourage him. <laughs> stop it. You guys gotta stop. Yeah, that that bus is, is a fugitive. One for stealing goddamn breadcrumbs out the damn convenience store and out of Fort Knox. Look at how you got this spot dummy. Friend. Born friend. Mm-hmm. Look at Lenny's comment. Look how you have her talking right now. Oh, she doesn't talk like that. Oh, she got a crush on bubbles. Oh, ain't that sweet? That is. Oh, this one. It says you mean fungus, fungus toe meatball. Oh, fungus toe. Oh, meatball. goddamn. The claw ass, goddamn claws of hers. What the fuck she gonna do with them? Goddamn, scratch my ass out. <laughs> Oh my god, I can't with you guys. Linny, I'm not highlighting that. You need to stop. <laughs> and them um, residue cheeses she be sniffing. Sniffing and eating. That's why I see her ass be um, collapsing on the live 2 and 2 30 in the oh. morning. Nah, no. You're going to get like carry up here. Farm bread. Hmm? gonna get carrie up here and she is mean she is so freaking mean don't make me come up there i'm saying yeah. is that buzzer and her co-defendants your friends i hope not who me no i'm talking to her no carrie's not friends with them she's gonna come up here and scold you why wearing too much <laughs> That's just how I am. I, I, I got cussed out a lot as a kid. So, oh, because you, know, you don't I mean, follow me to break it on nobody's panel, but that's just how I am. She may. Oh, <laughs> no, Lenny, don't don't talk about the road. Please don't. Please. Oh, I just ate too. Stop it, Lenny. Oh, my God. I am right now. A damn dragonfly under that damn road. Right now, I'm kind of regretting my mod decisions right now. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are awful. Oh my god! Widow. Oh, it did so took a walk. They got widow in on it now. <laughs> then her her robe did took a walk. You know. It, it took a look at that goddamn house she was living in, like, oh, I'm getting the fuck up out of here. Yeah, like, I how do. can you live like that? My one of my last <laughs> one of my last lives that he was on, um, it got limited. But it went turn I got it to turn back to green because you have it reviewed. So it turned to green. Like I don't think they care so much about the swearing. It's just like certain words and i guess i don't know i have no idea <laughs> well they're getting they're getting more a little bit more strict now um, yeah uh, a friend of mine who you know works for this company he said that they're you know i had to 
clean up my mouth too because I will, you know, I was calling out people in that. So I'm a bad person. So, but yeah, you got to watch your language anymore, you know, and what your hateful speeches are about. So just say. Okay, then. I, I, I see. Okay, okay, I like the way how you think because <laughs> if that buzzer and her co-defendants, any of them over there called me the N-word, I'm going to get her channel struck. Yep. Who? Who you think, yep. Jay Who you think, Bubbles? The, bu uh, the, the buzzer. Oh, That purple okay. pigeon. <laughs> Sorry, I was reading chat and I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> I need to pay attention more because Cornbread's up here, so stop it. My mods are doing like weird things. So <laughs> it's distracting. And, and Jay Marie, and our folks here, fake ass, that fake ass, that buzz over there is a fake ass tickle me Elmo. Oh my God, Cornbread. Go to a live. <laughs> Go to a live <laughs> while you're on a roll. <laughs> yeah. Hold on, I'll be right back, hold on. Oh, and now, Cornbread, you are not in charge. We don't want her to get, lose this channel. Hey, I'm be good. I, I, I'm being good. I, 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 I'm not how, like I was the last time I was on the panel. Trust me. I'm being oh, actually yeah. good. That's okay. But mm. okay, I got a, I got a uh, challenge for you in the channel uh, in the chat. Find your favorite word to describe um, J. Marie. Find your favorite word and this to describe J. Marie. Oh, this will be good. My mod. I, I can talk that language on my channel because I'm not even monetized. So I can say mm -hmm. what the hell I want to say on my channel. I put lovable. Sweet, compassionate. Thank you. Cornbread, what would yeah, you uh what would word would you use for describing uh, Jay Marine? As far as what? Uh, I don't know. Personality. Or I don't know, like what do you think you think Jamie? Like, oh Winnie. The question cornbread was just speaking. find one word to describe how you feel about Jay Marie. Carrie. Oh, 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 how oh. her okay. uh, one word. Like, yeah, it's like loving, sweet, welcoming, that kind of stuff. Lovable. Lovable. That's what oh. I use. See, <laughs> good minds think about the exact same thing. She is everything that Cornbread hates it. <laughs> Susan, I love that one. Susan, man. Thank you, Carrie. Appreciate that. Okay. <laughs> I love Kathy. Oh, your uh, volume is down again. Cornbread. Say what? Say Marie. Oh, there you are. Oh my God! Sassy, just like, I keep hearing an echo. I don't mm. hear no echo. So I don't hear it anymore, but I hear it for like a second. <laughs> I used to love that movie. Okay, now I'd say one positive word about cornbread. And be nice, Carrie. Yes. Yeah, positive. you have to see a positive word. Here's mine. I hear the echo now. Yeah, it's like every now and then. Mm -hmm. 
As long as it's not like. Oh, wait a minute. Go up and show them what I said about them. Oh, what'd you say? Man. Man. <laughs> Damn. What it said, um, <laughs> after that. Jesus. You uh, Susan, good? Susan, talk good. Talkative. Talkative. Colorful. <laughs> I know what Lenny, <clears throat> I know what she mean by that. Mm-hmm. You're like a like a character kind of. It's like yeah. You know, but it that's like a good thing, you know. Make people laugh and stuff like that. It's, yeah, that's what you mean by colorful. Oh, mm -hmm. Sweetheart. Hey Miss Chewy. Thank you, sassy, tenacious. I <laughs> had to do something else. Yep. That's cool. Aw, uh Nikita. -huh. Sherry and Karen. Now, see how this really turns around to be a, a nice thing? I said something nice to you, Cornbread. Hey. I said you're a man, okay? I don't know you that well, but I said you are a man. Could be a man of honor, man of respect, man of means, that kind of stuff. So. I'm not really, I'm not really mean. I just, I just don't like racists and scammers. That's all. Amen on that one. Mm -hmm. That's not good. That's what that, that, that's what that buzzer is over there: a racist and a scammer. Mm hmm. Widow said that you love your friends. What, what makes me mad and what pissed me off about that is she exploited people's children for a money play. Instead, of like these real people on here, real create content creators, talk about that. Who really knows what they're talking about and who been following up on that? I don't know. I don't really pay attention that much. Too. So I'm like into something like a case or um, like a music artist or something. Not really get into anything. Like I don't even know what's going on. People are saying she's purple is sick. I don't even know. Well, like I said. You become, if you have negative in your life all the time and you take everything okay. as a defensive thing, yes, mm -hmm. that's going to wear you down on your mentally, your physically body. Mm -hmm. You know, there's a negative part in your body that it gets overran. And yeah. so maybe you know, she's hard. taking a break for like mental health for. Mm -hmm. for Come see about your own I self. Just my, I, just, well, I just need my uh, cut for these commercials I got her in. <laughs> what commercials? I told that progressive on uh, direct TV. I told that direct TV. I just got her in that one not so long ago. <laughs> Even though they're a shitty ass of uh, satellite company. <laughs> Yeah, Lenny. Does he care? Like, mm -hmm. Susan. Remember, see, I was angry with you. Too. I know she was over there with that damn buzzer. I tell her to get my money. I need that money, babe. I just spent money on my PS5, another one. I, I, I need get. I need some type of compensation for that. Mm -hmm. Cause she ain't paid me for when she uh bird shit on my window and roof, and I had to miss work for that. Stop it! <laughs> oh my god, I can't. Hey, Nico. It's good to see you. 
Oh, man. Well, now that I scolded you and made you happy, Jay Marie, I'm going to go back and lay down. Okay. You know? Yeah, so. I'm probably going to be ending this because I don't see anybody else coming off. Nobody wants to say anything. Well, I mean, they can, they, can message me, they can do whatever, but I just want them to know that there's nothing. There's nothing for you to be mad about. There's nothing for you to be jealous of. Trust me. I'm not doing anything. Jay Marie is so nice. She's so nice. She's so sweet and full of spice. She's not harmful. Why would anybody hate on that? Yeah, no. It's whatever. They, obviously, they don't. Amen. Yeah. All up in. Not getting, getting a chance to know me. So, whatever. It must be because you're growing on here and they're not. So, uh, that's. The best that's the best answer I can come up with right now. Well, people are finding out how bad she is. Her viewers are getting less and less that wants to watch her. Uh, so, she begs people to come and do a review on her channel just to write things in. She, you know, I mean, like I have kept track on what it is of. My, I don't care. My channel is just for me. I'm old. I'm sick, you know, and I just want to have conversation with people. I want to bring positive. I don't want to bring the negative. I can bring negative. Believe me, I can. I can be mean and bitchy and all that. But I try to give other people respect first. And once, you know, once you, once you, I lose respect for you. That means that means that you didn't live up to what I thought you could be a yeah. human being. Happy you birthday. Know? Happy birthday. And remember that, guys. You don't have to earn someone's respect. If someone says you have to earn my respect, stop and think. They are putting themselves higher than you. No one is higher than anyone but the good Lord. And Thank there's only for- one man in the world, and that's the good Lord. He's the only man. Thank you. Man yeah. Thank you. I know, Heather. <laughs> yeah. Hey, okay, pretty. It's just like how that buzzer was. I knew she was going to do that bullshit, but uh, Jay Marie, the last live, when she mm-hmm. had the conversation with Jenna. Mm-hmm. And they got her. Her name's in that title, too, Buzzer. And what did you do? What did you do? You want to sit in your little pigeon box yeah. of a Discord to re- goddamn record this, her live, which you did. You wait to 2 2 30. And then want to review it. Oh, where she let me up on the panel. She lying. First of all, you lying. It's, I know you lying because I was over here the whole live. And number two, Jay Marie had that link pinned the whole live. So don't even say that she ain't let you up. When I'm not trying to hear that from you. I don't think she said that. Good night, everyone. Want to bet? Much love and respect. Say I goodbye, cornbread. I'm bet my wife say that. Cornbread, say that. Cornbread. Say goodbye yeah. to me. Say goodbye. Are to you me. about to leave? Yes, okay. I need to leave. It was great. It was great having you up here with us. Oh, okay, okay. I really enjoyed. Thank you for coming up, KK. Love I you. love you. Okay, bye bye. Think of good thoughts and happiness, and that will get you feeling better. But you can see oh. I'm not feeling too high. But love and respect oh. always, Get everyone. Some Get some rest. Yeah. She better, better get rest. Better, okay, okay. I hope she gets that rest because I see it. <laughs> Did you see that? <laughs> <laughs> Ha, <laughs> <laughs>
Oh. oh, I hear that echo thing again. Yeah, I hope she feels that. You met her before. Yeah, no, I, I know you... about her. Oh, you like that? I know about her on um, Bro Panic. We see these come over there all the time. You like this one? <laughs> I got that one. I got this one. I got this one. But it doesn't cover the whole screen. I got ones like this. I'll cover the whole screen. This one. Hey, today, what's up? We just up here chatting, chatting. On a Tuesday night. Carrie, <laughs> you don't have to stay here. Go play with your kids. What they got? What they playing? Um, Curry, the uh, the Xbox, the PS Five, the PC. Oh, I don't know if they're playing video games, like playing a game outside or something. Oh, oh good night, Nikita. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, Lines. Oh, man. Oh, uh, I ain't even. Um, this is my first. Uh, this is my first time on YouTube today. Well, yeah. since this morning. Then, he's not done. Yes. So I haven't talked to Bro since yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> See, they're watching. I told you she probably in that busy boss of a disco recording. Yeah, right. Why? Go ahead, Carrie. Compensate, it's... For that. Compensate Jay Marie for recording the live. You can you compensate um... me for goddamn roasting you and getting you in those commercials. <laughs> Just do what you gotta do. I'm probably gonna add it because my mouth is so dry. Hold on. Good night. We hey, how are you? Tuesday night. All right. Hey, how are you? I'm okay. How about you? I'm good. Yeah, I just. just uh, sorry, you felt bad. I mean, there's nothing like nausea. It's awful, I'm sure. Yeah. Yeah, but I mean, I'm okay. It's just a dry mouth. And just like, well, tired. Mm, big worn out. Yeah. Yeah. You can really it's crazy. And I have two. I have two more days tomorrow yeah. and Thursday. With appointments and um, different. Like I have a school meeting tomorrow. Just so much. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that is it is a lot. I can't even imagine. in the car. Uh, <laughs> you know, going somewhere, doing something, and just you know, first after Thursday so like Tuesday because we have Friday, we have the weekend. Monday and Tuesday to school. So, you know, I don't have anything planned. It's just stay home and rest. So I get five days of rest. That'll be Thank nice. God. <laughs> That'll Thank be God. Good. Yeah, no kidding. Because it is a lot. I mean, it's, I'm but sure. It's, it's... Especially when you have, like, you know, a young child and you have to take care of them and their needs. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. It, like I was saying uh, the other day, I was on I think Matt's panel. I was saying, you know, you don't know the strength that you have until you actually have to use it. Like then it comes out. You know what I mean? It's very because, true. Yeah. Because I'm, yeah. Um, yeah. You're in those situations. Been, yeah. Life has um, handed me a lot that I've been able to to work through, you know, including a complete hysterectomy from uterine cancer. Yeah. I was 23 years yeah. old. So never had any kids, and that's okay because it wasn't meant to be. But I've been blessed with my nieces. I've been blessed to raise my stepson. You know, I have grandchildren. I'm like totally, totally lucky. But I know, you know, back then it was like nothing, you know, but it, I don't know if it was because I've cleared it out of my head. I don't Mm -hmm. know, you know, but um, yeah, just it. I know I was, you know, I was really super tired all the time and I was nauseated, you know, but not, um, you know. Sorry, it's just, not, I was showing that to Davis. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> I wasn't even looking. I, I don't even look at the chat. I'm terrible. I like, I just choose not to. So if someone says something about me or if they say something mean, I'm just like, I didn't well, see it. He sent me like the title, so I was showing oh. him this. this was the oh, thumbnail. Okay. <laughs> yes, I saw that thumbnail. I was like, that was cute. so perfect, so perfect. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I have um the thrombocythemia, which is a very rare type of blood cancer. Mm-hmm. Um and. It's okay because it's not like really bad. I don't, mm-hmm. I don't know. I hate to say it's not really bad, but you know what I mean. It's, um, yeah. it's something you can function with, um, mm-hmm. and just take a low dose, um, you know, chemo pill twice a day. So, right. you know, I can't, I can't imagine going back to, you know, the what happened, you know, earlier in my life. I mean. Here we are, or here I am, you know, 31 years later <laughs> going through, <laughs> you know, it's weird, but I th- yeah. things ha- must happen for a reason because I was, I had my um, 25 years in um, with work and I was able to retire and it's like at a young age, so I can still go live my life and do things that I want to do that are on my bucket list and just keep going and Mm. have that retirement. It was almost like God telling me, wake up and smell the roses, go do what you want to do because this is your time. Right. You know, type of thing. So that's kind of how I took it. I didn't want to really retire, but was kind of necessary so right um, but it's okay I mean it all happens for a reason I always say that I never may never know the reason but right you know, um, <laughs> my passport's ready I'm just gonna say that <laughs> <laughs> like, it's ready to go I keep telling my husband <laughs> right my passport's ready but yours isn't so you stay home and I go and you take care of the dogs. <laughs> right. <laughs> I travel by myself all the time. I always have. Yeah. Um, it's just something I've always done. I mean, I've been to a yeah. lot of places, luckily. Right. And, you know, so. Just you go by yourself, not a group yeah. of people? Or... Yeah, I just go by myself. Um, oh, wow. I have um, season tickets to the Denver Broncos. And so I go up to Denver a lot for the games and I, the P um, I have a couple of friends up there and um, they're like really good, like real life friends. And so 
um, they're awesome people. She's so awesome. And her boyfriend's awesome. And I mm-hmm. sit by them. My seats are by theirs. So, yeah. you know, if I don't go to a game and she wants it and wants someone up there since she lives there, I just yeah. give them to her. That way she can have someone, you know, sit in the seat or, you know, take her nephew or whatever. Right. Yeah. Yeah. You like to, uh, you're like independent. (laughs) You're independent. Yeah. Very independent. Extremely. You're like this. You're like this to people. (laughs) Yeah. You're right. You, you. (laughs) I don't, I don't know. <laughs> right. I don't know if I ever, um, I don't know if a lot of people haven't heard of this place. It's called Bishop Castle and it's in, um, it's near, um, um, gosh darn it. Colorado Springs, Colorado. It's, okay. um, it's near there. Um, mm-hmm. but you, drive up there and it's literally this old 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 castle that this guy built from the ground up and it's it's so unstable and there's danger signs everywhere and it goes super duper high and i got this hair at my butt one day and thought i'm gonna go to bishop castle screw this so i take off and i go (laughs) go up to bishop cast snowing like no other like roads were horrible and i'm just uh-huh. like nope i'm going i'm going i'm going and i did and i climbed to the top of that castle and snow blowing everywhere freezing cold and you know of course the wind blowing and the top of it was shaken you know and i'm just like i did it <laughs> you know <laughs> all by myself my my dad was like Oh my god, I can't believe you did that. Oh. <laughs> like, well, no one <laughs> does, Dad. But you'll have to Google that Bishop Castle. It's really cool. It's like like to see it. It's it's really, really neat. Um I'm gonna it, it. yeah, um, it's crazy. It sure. doesn't uh what is it called? Sorry. Oh no, it's called Bishop. It's B I S H O P Castle. Okay. I'm going to look that up later. Yeah. It, like uh, think... videos, like videos on YouTube, like people go in there. Oh, is there? Oh, I don't know. No, I'm, ask, I'm asking you if there's oh. like videos. <laughs> um, <laughs> I haven't looked for any. I should, though. I mean, yeah, because if they do, like, um, some people do it with like the GoPro, like they'll go different places, mountain climbing, whatever. That would be a good idea to see if anybody has done that because it's a really, um, why well, there's a place in, oh, shoot, there's like a bit, there's like a, um, a maximum security prison in Colorado. And I, for some reason, cannot remember the name of it. Um, starts with a C and it's near Colorado Springs, but I just can't think of the name of it. My brain is like, blah, but, um, (laughs) someone in the chat might know, I mean, you know, which president I'm talking about, but it's maximum security, but Bishop Castle is more by that. So I don't know what intrigued me to go by myself. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> I mean, just to, and even take the chance of sliding off the road, wrecking, whatever, near a maximum security prison in Colorado. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't know. I do a lot of things. My husband is just so, um, he's so good to me. You know, married for, been together for, oh my gosh, our anniversary is coming up. Uh, Wow, in April, um, t- either 26 years or 27 years married, I can't remember, and over 30 together. Oh, wow. That's crazy. <laughs> uh, oh, Bertin. Oh, let me write that down. <laughs> he's just really a good, supportive. He's old. He's 15 years older than me. He's just like, oh, a- yeah. Oh wow! Yep, 
he's a good guy. He's like my best friend. Aww. You know, and my mom loved him so much. Cute cat. I, I love that. You know, because it was okay. it was like she just. He's a good guy. She's like, I don't know what it is about this guy, but he's a good guy, you know. And <laughs> we took off and got married in um, Cabo San Lucas, Mexico. Oh wow! Yeah, yep. Um, it good weather. It it was awesome weather. It was great, and we got married right by the ocean. We had um, a company uh -huh. called uh, Weddings on the Move, and they like did everything for us like did got the people to be witnesses they were all spanish they didn't speak any english our marriage license is in spanish <laughs> it's, <All right>. re <laughs> it's it's really cool it's like and you know i i just literally my mom was like well what do you want to wear and i'm like what do you what do you want to see me in because i don't care <laughs> So, you know, back then, like 1998, I think, is when I got married. So it'd be 20, yeah, 26 years married. But, um, and we just got a simple white, like a lot, you know, like right kind of below the knee. Um, mm -hmm. and then a nice, like, white, um, like a, I don't know what it was, what it would be called, but, and then like a hat and, there was some ladies down there that like braided my hair and it was just really cool. It was, it was different for sure because it's hard to communicate when you don't speak that language. Mm -hmm. But yeah, right. we just took off and did honeymoon and everything all in one. And it was just us two and came back and my dad did a reception for us. And that was, that it was, it was so simple and it only cost us $2,000. <laughs> With that company because they did everything. Mm -hmm. so, it was yeah, weddings are <laughs> weddings nowadays. Oh my god, they're I, so freaking expensive. Yeah. My stepson's um, it's so crazy because my stepson is only eleven years younger than me. <laughs> Isn't really? that funny? Yes. <laughs> oh yeah, and um, your husband was there. Mm -hmm. yeah. So my stepson and um when him and um his wife got married because they're still together too and uh they've been dating and together since they were both 14. Mm -hmm. and here my stepson is you know, my granddaughter just turned 17. oh wow yeah yep she's mm -hmm. um it's crazy but They've been together for a long time too, but their wedding was so expensive. I was like, oh my gosh. And, and Hi, we, we helped because obviously, you know, like her parents weren't able to really, really help. And, you know, mm -hmm. and I knew it was only going to be the only time my stepson got married. And so I just told my husband, we really need to like give her everything and give him everything so we can you know, make, make their day like happy and what they want. And so it was, it was cool though. It was like really nice wedding and they really oh, enjoyed cute. it. And then we all went on an Alaskan cruise. <laughs> like, yeah. So I take friends. Cool. <laughs> I should try the menthol so I don't have to keep taking because uh, oh, yeah. I'm sure that does something to your stomach. <laughs> yeah, probably oh, does. And then your liver having to um go through that too. You know, it can't be good on your kidneys and your liver. Mm -hmm. Gosh, oh. but that sucks though. Maybe that'll help. I hope. And it's medicine on top of medicine on top. You know what I mean? Like, right. Yeah, I know exactly. For this, to cure this, to cure that, to cure that. <laughs> yeah. So my platelets, yeah. yeah, my platelets are super duper high and that's what it's, that's why, <laughs> you know, is yeah. that. And so it's, um, I have to get iron a lot 
my potassium is super duper low. It bottoms out sometimes and that really sucks, but I, you know, get, have to go in for that. And then, um, my, my ferritin is so low. It's uh, not even funny. Uh oh, it's I just great. I feel last time it was at a five, oh. but before that it was at a three. Oh my god. Yeah, and I'm like, is that normal? They're like, no. <laughs> no. So I have, oh yeah, I have to get like injections when I go to my appointments. Oh. I have to take iron like daily. <laughs> So it's pretty cool. um, I get iron infusions. Um, they infuse me. Um, then they'll inject um, potassium, you know, but it can't be at the same time. It's like, it's such a picky thing. It's a picky process. And you just have to, I have to stay on top of it, even if I feel like it or not. You know, just, right. I just, main thing is like my, because my calcium is super high too. <laughs> And yet, my bones are like so porous. Um, but that's just kind of part of it. So I'm glad um, I did retire though. Hey, I'm glad. Just because, you know, like as long as I can walk, you know, I've had seven back surgeries too from a incident wow. from an incident at work ten years ago. Um when I was I got pinned between the um a squad car and a regular car oh, okay. yeah and oh, so wow. but i can walk i can get around and i'm grateful for it and i'm i'm just grateful you know but i have a lot of things to be grateful for because there's so many people out there that have it so much worse mm -hmm. you know Anyway, it's like I come up here and tell you my last story. <laughs> even even ran <laughs> ran him off. He's like, "Oh my god, this chick is freaking boring." <laughs> no, something's going on with his uh, mic. I had to mute yeah. him. Yeah, I can, I can hear it. <laughs> it yeah. was weird. It was like a low. Uh, his phone. His phone's about to die. Oh. That makes sense. Yeah. Well, it's okay. I'm probably, I actually wanted to end this because I'm yeah. so tired. <laughs> yeah. Get some rest. I'm, hey, tomorrow. I'm, I'm in the West, so I'm behind you in time. So I'm, I mean, if you're, it's if you're, 10. So. Yeah. It's oh, 10 yeah. oh my gosh, girl. Yeah. It's only eight <laughs> here. So. Right. All right. Well, thank you for coming up. And I appreciate, I appreciate you joining us here tonight. Oh, thank you. And um, my pleasure and have a good night and I hope you get some good rest. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Good night. Good night. All right, guys, I'm going to end this out. Oh, uh, let me see. Hold on. So. I'm just going to put this here. If you want to come to me, you can come to me privately and just let me know what's up because I want to squash this. I don't know. <laughs> you know, I just I don't, I want to squash it. So you can hit me up if you want. All right, guys. Uh, have a good night. Good night, widow. Again, this is the link for Widow's uh, Autism Service Dog for her daughter. Oh, tired, guys. All right, I'm going to go to bed. Have a good night. Love you guys.